Let's use Revelation 21 verse 4. Yes, Papa. And now, chains are about to break. Your future is guaranteed. Fear not. 10 things you did not know about Prophet Bushiri. 38-year-old Shepherd Bushiri, also known as Major One, or Prophet Shepherd Bushiri, is a Malawian Christian preacher, motivational speaker, author, and businessman. Founder and leader of a Christian non-denominational charismatic evangelical church known as the Enlightened Christian Gathering, based in South Africa. He is a man of many sides. He is married to Mary Bushiri, who is active in charity work, and together, they had two daughters until March 29, 2021, when he announced the passing away of his first daughter, Israela, stating that as a father, it was his desire to see her grow and serve the Lord. This led to a lot of speculations and brought mixed reactions from people around Africa and the world, given how controversial the man of God is. In this video, we shall dissect some of the reasons for these speculations by bringing you 10 things many people probably did not know about Prophet Bushiri. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 1. His Real Name Controversy It is widely known that Bushiri grew up in Nzunzu, which is in the northern part of Malawi, and that his mother gave the name Shepherd due to the complexities around his birth acknowledging the Lord as her shepherd. But in February 2019, claims were made in the citizen that Bushiri was born as Chipiliwo Gama, as an invoice mistakenly sent to Baloyi attorneys did not use the popular name Shepherd Bushiri and instead called him Chipiliwo Gama. A report in the Sunday Times newspaper for February 2019 stated that Bushiri's father, Huxley, and his mother Christina, a Zambian by birth, raised him as Chipiliro Gama. Number 2. The fruits don't fall far from the tree. Bushiri is now known as one of the wealthiest pastors in the world and one of the most affluent people in Africa, but we should take note that it is no coincidence at all. He is mentored by a multi-millionaire businessman and leader of the Good News Church in UK, Prophet Hubert Angel, who himself carries similar spectacles around. Bushiri is said to be the most celebrated and popular spiritual son of Prophet Angel. Hence, from knowing where his training came from, we should not be too surprised at the Bushiri's characteristics. Number 3. Money laundering is also on his list of scandals. On 1 February 2019, Bushiri was arrested together with his wife by South Africa's Directorate for Priority Investigations, the Hawks, for fraud and money laundering. After several postponements, the case was subsequently slated to October 2020. In November 2019, application was made by the National Prosecuting Authority for the full feature of a 1984 Gulfstream aircraft owned by Bushiri on claims that the aircraft had been procured with funds illegally obtained, but Bushiri claimed that it was legitimately acquired in 2016 for $1,250,000. Bushiri and his wife were each granted a $7,500 bill, along with other conditions that the couple remain in Gauteng and their travel documents remain with the state. Bushiri and his wife were again arrested on other fraud charges on the 14th of November 2020. Reports surfaced that Bushiri and his wife had fled back to Malawi, breaking bail conditions. Number 4. He is a prosperity preacher. Prophet Bushiri has built his followers on the theme of prosperity, as he says his followers are inspired by prosperity. On a regular Sunday, about 40,000 people will gather to hear the Prophet preach and potentially pick up some of the specially designed merchandise on sale at stalls dotted around a large church complex, which could include anything from miracle oil, calendars and wristbands to branded towels, t-shirts and caps, all emblazoned with his face. Like all men of God, he recognizes the importance of money in ministry. The irony is that while these prosperity messages are going around and millions are being passed around, 
The majority of people in his congregation still linger in poverty, are jobless, and die from curable diseases. Number 5. He claims to have healed HIV patients. The 36 year old preacher is well aware of the allegations laid on him, saying he's more than a scum artist, but there are accusations he shrugs off. My ministry is not for everyone, it is for those who have faith. I'm just a messenger of God's work. God heals people in our meetings. One time, I got doctors here in Pretoria to bring patients with HIV. They tested them before to show they are HIV positive. I prayed for them, and again afterwards, and now they were HIV negative. Such claims by the preacher have left many in confusion, given that he has not been able to show any shred of evidence to back up such claims. Number 6. He's more like a celebrity than a man of God. Besides attracting thousands of followers from sub-Saharan Africa and beyond, who are practically willing to come for hours at the city gates of Pretoria, even paying exorbitant amounts of money, ECG Church also gives opportunity to meet or see the Prophet. Just to solidify his celebrity status, Bushiri charges exorbitant fees for those who are interested to attend some of his public dinners, which have further raised the dust of watchers around the world. It was reported that he charged up to $1,800 for a seat at his table at a gala dinner held on December 23, 2017 at the Pretoria Showground and $70 for entry to a dinner held in Windhoek, Namibia in January 2016. Number 7. Investment Schemes Allegedly, during a church service in March 2017, Bushiri announced that he wanted to make members of his church into millionaires. Congregants were then told via email to invest at least $7,500 in cash with him within the next two days and were promised a 50% return within 30 banking days. Those that could not bring cash with them to the church were sent banking details of a company, Rising Estate, the directors of which are Bushiri's lieutenants, Willa Mudulu, Duncan Udwo Otieno, and Kit Ching Kathwin Kum. Almost two years later, the people who gave Bushiri money claim to have not received anything back, and the investment scheme appears to be linked to Palambano Investments. The congregants provided proof that the money had been paid into the ECG's First National Bank account, and the case had been opened against Palambano Investments. Number 8. Alleged Infidelity On 20th February 2020, former Deputy Finance Minister of Zimbabwe, Terence Mukupe, accused Bushiri of an adulterous affair with Mukupe's musician wife, Rachel which resulted in the impregnation of Rachel. He claimed to have WhatsApp evidence of his wife and the preacher arranging to meet for sex rooms in Malawi, Pretoria, and Rustenburg. He also claimed that Bushiri had taken $7,500 from him to finance his church, Enlightened Christian Gathering. Bushiri refuted all the allegations, saying that he had not left South Africa in the past 13 months and had not used WhatsApp or iMessage for the past three years. Mukupe's response to Bushiri was that Bushiri had not used his own phone to contact Rachel and that Mukupe had paid for the tickets for Bushiri to travel. On 3rd March, Rachel responded to these allegations by refuting them and stating that she was not married to Terence Mukupe anymore due to his own unfaithfulness. Number 9. Paternity Scandal It is alleged that in 2010, Bushiri impregnated a teenage Malawian woman whom he met in 2007 in their hometown, Nzimba. It is further claimed that he bribed her to have an abortion, but that the check bounced. The woman subsequently gave birth in 2011 to a girl who is spitting image of Bushiri, and it is widely known in the district that he is the biological father according to the father of the woman. The woman is now married, and the family alleges that they kept quiet out of fear. Bushiri claims that the check was stolen from him, and that on the day the woman claims he made her pregnant, Bushiri was at the police station, 
dealing with an attempted hijacking. Family members of the girl claim that Bushiri admits to the allegations in private, despite his public deniers, and have demanded a paternity test. Number 10. Banned from Botswana over miracle money. Bushiri has been accused of so many allegations, from unfaithfulness to money laundering to making unproven claims of curing HIV. Nevertheless, due to the claims of unproven miracle money, Botswana temporarily banned him from entering the country before courts ruled the ECG church is allowed to continue operating in the country. Initially, he was free to enter the country at will, but now it's required to apply for a visa every time he wants to enter Botswana. The man who appeared to walk on air in a 2015 video shared wildly on social media keeps making the headlines with scandal after scandal. On the night of 28 December 2018, three people died and nine others were injured during a stampede at the ECG church caused by people trying to avoid a thunderstorm. Bushiri's spokesman, Maniat Manyowa, told the media that the ECG church is not Bushiri's church, it belongs to South Africa and South Africans. Manyowa also said that the deaths were not Bushiri's problem, but the problem that the church must deal with. Those were things you probably did not know about Shepherd Bishop Bushiri. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.